Hello and welcome to Video Jug. We're going to show you how to make infused oils. The use of infused oil adds the flavor of herbs to a dish. Most herbs can be used. Oils can be also infused with dry spices. We will demonstrate two recipes, one for herbs and one for dry spices. Step 1. You will need the following ingredients. For the parsley oil, 500 grams of parsley leaves picked from stems, 140 milliliters of vegetable oil. For the curry oil, 4 tablespoons of curry powder, 1 tablespoon of coriander seeds, 1 teaspoon of cumin seeds, 1 stick of cinnamon crumbled, and 140 milliliters canola oil. Here is a handy list of the ingredients. You will also need the following utensils, a saucepan, a small frying pan, a tea towel, a sieve, a cheesecloth, a blender, a bowl of iced water, a spoon, two bowls, and finally, some cling film. Step 2. Boil the water. Bring a pot of water to a boil and season with salt. Step 3. Blanch the parsley. Place the parsley in a sieve and put the sieve into the boiling water for 15 to 20 seconds. Immediately place it into the iced water for a few seconds until the parsley is cold. Step 4. Squeeze the parsley. Now, place the blanched parsley into the center of a tea towel and, balling up the edges, twist them into a knot squeezing the water from the herb. Step 5. Puree the parsley. Next, place the parsley into the blender and add half of the oil. Puree for a few seconds and then add the other half of the oil. Continue to puree until the oil turns bright green. Tip: Don't let the blender run for too long because the friction will create heat. This will cause the color of the parsley to fade. Step 6. Refrigerate the oil. When bright green, empty the oil into a bowl and cover with a cling film. Now leave it in the refrigerator overnight. Step 7. Strain the oil. The following day, place the cheesecloth in a strainer over a bowl and pour the oil into the cheesecloth. Allow it to drip until all the oil is strained. It can now be used in any dish as well as to decorate serving plates. But remember, this infused oil only keeps a few days. If you want to keep it longer, freeze it. Always store it in a cool place. Tip: Let gravity strain the oil. Don't be tempted to force it through or your oil will be cloudy. Step 8. Begin the curry oil. For curry oil, place a frying pan on a medium heat. Now add the coriander seeds, the cumin seeds, and the cinnamon. Slowly toast them for a minute until their fragrance begins to fill the room. Then, remove from the heat. Step 9. Process the oil. Into a blender, add the roasted spices, the curry powder, the oil, and blend it for a few minutes. Pour the contents into a container, cover with cling film, and let it sit for one day. Step 10. Strain and use. The following day, place a cheesecloth in a strainer, over a bowl, and pour the oil into the cheesecloth. Allow it to drip until all the oil is strained.
Now it can be used in any dish. Infused oil, such as this one, which contains spices, can be kept for a longer period and need not be refrigerated. And that's how to make infused oils the video jug way.